Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am doing a skincare routine video for you. And I decided to do it because I slimmed it down to five, on occasion, six items. That's it. So I wanna bring you in, we're not gonna get closer, but I wanna bring you in on my skincare routine, my secrets that I have changed in the last month that are working. So please, if you would like to see, let's keep watching. So if you're anything like me, skincare is overwhelming. There's so many different products that gear towards this, that, the other. It is so hard to figure out what is the right thing to choose. And raise your hand if you fall into the hype of thinking that you need this new product, that new product, everything, the expensive, the cheap. You want to try it all, right? Because everybody else is raving about it. So you're like, I need it, I need it, me, 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 me. It's me. Take a step back. Pause. So the biggest thing that I will definitely say you need is a very good cleanser. Not just a makeup remover, but cleanser. So like if it says it's a cleanser that removes your makeup, fantastic, that's great. Use it, but double cleanse. That first initial cleanse is just to take the makeup off. So then my suggestion is to go in a second time and cleanse your face again. Yes, you may use way more product that way and you might have to um, buy it a little bit more frequently unless you're using two different products, which I use two different products. Sometimes I use the same product twice in a row. The first step of doing it, the cleansing, is to take my makeup up and that's how I view it, okay? So then my next cleanse is to actually clean your face and get the makeup from underneath and that or is in your pores that sunk into your skin, etc. the dirt, the grime, all of that. That is what that second cleanse is for me. That's how I look at it. Doing a double cleanse is the best way to feel like my face is completely rid of all of the day. The makeup, the grime, the dirt, all of it. Second cleanse, okay? So then the next step is toner. And you know what? For the longest time, like I jumped on that bandwagon for a minute, but then I got off of it because I was just like, if this isn't doing anything, wrong. Katie, you're absolutely wrong. It does do something. So I've gotten back into it after watching um, Beauty Within. After I subscribed to Beauty Within and um, after watching their some of their videos, I was like, oh my God, that makes sense. I'm going to do that. Um, but they are also the ones that made me think I need to streamline just a little bit because I was in that mindset of I need to use this, I need to use this, I need to use that, I need to use And then I had like a 20 step regimen that ultimately made me not want to wash my face at the end of the night or not made me want to put anything on after washing my face. Like it got so exhausting to go toner, serums, moisturizer, oils, you know, all of those things like, and not just one moisturizer, not just one, uh, you know, eye cream, like just adding so many steps to it that it just got exhausting that I didn't want to do it anymore. Like, honestly, I didn't want to do it anymore. So I decided to streamline and what I did was I took out a lot and I still have those products and I still use them occasionally, but they are not my everyday step. Um, I'm going to show you the five products that I have in front of me um, as to what I use on a daily and an, on an occasion. So cleanse my face. I use a couple different cleansers like to, I use the Neutrogena gel cleanser to get rid of my makeup and then I use the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea gel cleanser to wash my face or I use the Tarte one twice. It's consistent with that double cleanse thing, right? So I use that and right now for toner, I am using the Sun and Park water, beauty water. I'm using this. I love this. I got it in an Ipsy bag and it sat in a drawer for months. I never opened it so it didn't go bad but I got it. I never used it. I'm using it out and I love it. It's great. It's a great little toner. So I wash my face. Um, I wash my face and then I go in with this. 
Now, if it is a, if for some reason I'm breaking out when I can see that I'm breaking out or I'm getting a little bit of texture, I'll go in and use the Pixi Glow Tonic before I use my toner. I took it out of my everyday routine. Um, because I noticed when I was using it every day, I was getting more and more breakouts because I think I was over exfoliating my skin. And I think that bar um, skin barrier was just damaged because I was like trying to keep it baby soft smooth and it just, it didn't, it wasn't working because I was over exfoliating. I am 99% sure on that. Like I could be absolutely wrong, but I am 99% sure I was over exfoliating. Therefore, my face kept breaking out. Like, all oh, I have breakouts here, here. It's breaking out all in here. I have some that I was breaking out here. This, I think, is more hormonal at this moment in time because my skin doesn't like me. Um, but, like, I was breaking out everywhere. And I don't normally break out in these areas, like my sideburn areas. Like, that's the weirdest spot I've ever broken out. Here, I'd get, like, an occasional one. So, but it was, like, consistently, like, week after week, I had breakouts and I didn't know why. So, since taking this out of my routine over a week ago, my skin has really behaved. So I think part of it was just over exfoliating. Now I do use this and I might use it for two or three days in a row um, if I notice that I'm getting a breakout or whatever or my skin is extra bumpy, I'll use it. So it's not to say that it is completely out of my routine, it's just an occasional one. So then after I use that, I'll go in with toner. Now if I'm not using that, I go straight to toner, right? And then from my toner, I go into like my serums, which right now the only serums I'm using is like a vitamin C or a brightening serum. Like those are the only two right now that I am using. So like for right now, I'm using the Juice Beauty Green Apple Brightening Emolution, which I'm pretty sure is basically a vitamin C serum. So that's what I'm using right now. So like that is my next step. Done, boom. Ready for my next step? So at night, I use um, the Wild Rose, uh, the Coors, Wild Rose Vitamin C Brightening Sleeping Facial. Um, I was using this in tandem with another moisturizer, and again, I'm pretty sure using so much of it, like so much skincare that I was breaking out. And like, so the over exfoliating, too much of something, and I was breaking out and I didn't like that. So I've toned it down to literally, basically a five step process right now. Clean my face, tone it, vitamin C, moisturizer. And then at nighttime, I know I should be doing day and day first, but at nighttime, I'll go in with like a rose oil blend or just a facial oil. I'll go in with whatever one that I'm feeling. I use the Tarte Maracuja oil as well. Um, whatever one I'm feeling for the night, I'll use that last. So like everything else sinks in and then I have that oil that I know is gonna take a little bit longer to sink into my skin and just give me my everything. That's how I do it. Some people may say that's wrong, but it works for me. Like I wake up in the morning and my face still feels hydrated. It's not like I go to sleep and then all of a sudden it's like I wake up and be like, what the hell happened? Like where did all that moisture go that my face is needing? So those are what I use at nighttime as well as I use the toner in the daytime and I do use the vitamin C serum. But then during the day I have a different moisturizer and I do kind of hop between a couple. I eat like the Glow Recipe Watermelon one. Um, I also like, um, I think I'm using a Murad one, which is a little thicker. So like on the days that if I wake up for whatever reason, I live in the desert, so it gets really hot. So like if it, I didn't drink enough water the day before, if I wake up and my face is kind of dry, I'll use the thicker one. If I my face still feels hydrated from the night before, then I'll use the light one. So like I do go back and forth between those, but for the most part, it's a five step process, that's it. I don't go any further than that. So like in the daytime, instead of using an oil, I go in with my sunscreen, which is either my Garnier, which is a five in one skin perfecter, but it's got a broad spectrum um, SPF of 15, but it's basically, 
it's just basically a tinted moisturizer. That's all this is. Little goes a long way, but basically that's all that is. Or I'll use my Coat Skin sunscreen. That's it. That is what I have done to change my skincare routine. Now that's not to say that in down the line I might change it up again because my skin might finally be healing itself and my skin barrier is finally back to where it can handle certain things again. Um, but until then, I'm sticking with my five steps and my core products that I use. I've gotten one breakup right here and yes, I picked at it because I can't stop. I'm sticking to my simple routine right now because it works for me right now. Who knows, once summer's full blown and I'm sweating up a storm, it might change. So right now, those work for me. Morning, clean my face, tone, uh, vitamin C, moisturizer, sunscreen. Nighttime, wash my face, wash my face again. Toner, vitamin C, nighttime moisturizer, and then a face oil. And then, asterisk, on the day that I feel like I need to actually exfoliate my skin, which is, I think I try to do it once a week so that I'm actually exfoliating my skin once a week, this. And that's how I have perfected my skincare routine as of right now. You guys, thank you for listening. Thank you for taking my suggestions under advisement. I'm not saying you have to follow my routine. I'm not saying you have to use my products. I'm just saying sometimes you gotta simplify, okay? Just simplify and you probably will get the results that you want. And if you're not, it's okay to add something in to find out if that's what's gonna help you get the results that you want, okay? So I simplified my skin routine because for some reason my skin was breaking out even though I had kind of an aggressive regimen. So simplifying for me worked. It may work for you too if you're having the same issues as me. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one, guys.